Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Gemini AI in Google Sheets. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. So you might be wondering, how do you use or start using Gemini AI in Google Sheets? Well, this one is kind of complicated because there's going to be some form of requirement. In this case, you might have a Gemini account here and you might have the advanced uh, option here because they actually offer a free trial for the advanced version here. And whenever you go to Google Sheets here and open up any of the Google Sheets documents that you have here, typically you should see a uh, icon here that says Gemini. Now in this case, some users might not be able to see that, but because but in this case, a Google Gemini business account is actually acquired here. So it's a whole process so you need to have a, a gemini business account so it's just kind of complicated because uh you need to get it from a company itself that actually got the business account but in this case uh you might you will not be able to use it yourself but there are going to be some alternatives that you could actually try here in this case you could actually add extensions on your google sheets here in this case go to the top section here click on extensions and from here go to add-ons and click on get add-ons now, what we need to do is we need to go to the search app section, just type in Gemini, press and enter. And once you've done that, you need to look for the following options here. Now you have the AI Assist for Gemini, Worksheet GPT, and we also have the Gemini AI for Sheets. And in this case, we'll be using this one because it doesn't require any API. Because if you're going to use the first one here, it will require you to generate your own API. But for now, let's go and choose the third one. Now from here, let's go and click on install. And once you've done that, what we need to do is we need to allow it. So let's go and choose our account here. From here, click on continue. And from here, scroll down a bit and click on allow. But make sure to review the uh, uh, the following uh, information that they will be accessing. But for now, I'm going to click on allow. Now from here, what we need to do next is we just need to wait for it to properly install. And once it's actually properly installed, we should be able to start using it. Now to start using it, you need to go to the extension section. And from here, look for Gemini AI for Sheets, and you have the following options. Now, you also have the capabilities to basically use Gemini formulas, full sheet analysis, and save AI formulas as results. Now, for example, we want to have a full sheet analysis. Let's go and choose that. And from here, it's going to say Authorize Google Gemini. Let's go and click on Authorize. Now, from here, we want to click on our, our account here. Click on Continue. And from here, click on Continue. Now, once you've done that, we want to basically go back in here. And as you can see, we now have the following prompts. In this case, you can go ahead and choose your sheet here and also the prompt you want to uh, get. For example, a general general information on this sheet. From here, you could go and click on analyze. Now, if you want to use the other uh, things that you could do here, like for example, you want to uh, basically use the uh, option for use Gemini formulas, you go ahead and select that. And from here, you could basically start using the following formula, like for example, Gemini, uh, write, translate, rephrase. So for example, I want to say uh, summarize here. So in this, in this case, you could just go ahead and expand this one and to learn more. So in this case, summarize the content of your text here. So in this case, maybe I want to say, I want to get this one, go to a following option here. And we want to paste it in here. And maybe I want to say, uh, summarize. And here you could just basically just type in summarize text. And from here you can just press and enter and that would actually summarize the text that you've entered that. In this case, uh yeah, so that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.